Hello Indie Game fans, the second video summarizing the 8 hour long Gamescom Awesome Indies showcase begins with the remake Wonder Boy Asha in Monster World. The Monster Boy or Wonder Boy series of action platformers is a beloved franchise that dates back to the 80s and originally made by Sega, and there have been a number of remakes recently such as the excellent Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. This is a remake of Monster World 4, which is more linear and not so much of a metroidvania, and while people have been knocking on the graphics of the remake, I do hope that it will get there for another generation to enjoy. Very excited about this one, since Pharaoh A New Era is yet another remake, this time of the Sierra classic Pharaoh and its expansion Cleopatra. And while this is primarily an animated trailer that does look like the Prince of Egypt animated movie, this city builder was an essential part of my childhood, so to see it being remade certainly warms my heart. Friend of the channel, Gamer Zuck, who covers nostalgic gaming, will certainly be interested in this, and it's from the developer of Lathe's Path of Progress, which does pay tribute to the original in more ways than one. You're about to start an unforgettable journey. You're young, inexperienced in a foreign world full of adventure. People love their first person sims and Medieval Dynasty looks to be the next breakout hit. Essentially, Medieval Life Simulator, this does not have any fantasy elements but has wild animals and possibly bandits and raiders as threats to your existence. In this world full of danger, you are surviving on your own. Are you ready to face the harshness? Are you ready to learn? Are you brave enough to survive the Middle Ages? Just covered Minute of Islands recently, but this gorgeous hand-drawn adventure game did get a new trailer, and I simply cannot wait. With an art style that looks like a cartoon but with a gorier side as well, this is an interesting mix of ideas and concepts and should turn out pretty well. Paradise Lost got a cinematic trailer during the presentation but I went to dig up the gameplay version where this exploration focused title does have an interesting setup. Don't freak out. What is... who's that? So, basically, I need your help. In an alternate history, World War II ended when the Nazi forces launched nukes at Europe leading to nuclear winter, and you play as a young boy who discovers an underground city hidden in an abandoned Nazi bunker. Very interesting premise, which makes me interested. I won't let you go unless you promise to help me. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. I'm scared of the dark too.
This is pretty straightforward since Potion Party is a co-op alchemy game that has you working together to brew potions and to run a successful business. Obviously, parallels will be drawn to Overcooked, but I do think that the pixel art is cute and I'm waiting to see what they do with the meta shop management layer. Covered Tamarin previously when looking at upcoming 3D platformers, and while pretty cute looking, it does take a hard right turn. The army of invading insects, infesting the forest and the roaming groups. Didn't expect that, did you? Well, the ability to use guns as the monkey looks pretty wacky, the core platforming action does look good, and best of all, this was confirmed to be releasing very soon. Captain's log, Earth date, I lose track. Today was supposed to be simple, in and out. Duck soup, as my great 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 grandfather used to say, in his war. We'd encountered more phasmid ships than we were expecting, so I jumped straight on the guns like the hero I am. Seeing an empty captain's chair, our only engineer decided to take control of the ship. With the donut doing donuts in the USS Donut, our weapons guy of all people was left trying to fix the damage we were taking. Lacking security, the phasmids boarded. With fire and phasmids abound, Leonard made the ever so logical decision to purge the ship, ejecting most of the phasmids, but also himself. Space Crew is the next title from the developer of Bomber Crew, spotting a similar art style but a different theme. Instead of manning various stations on a plane, you instead have to do it on a spaceship, and it's a real-time management strategy game that reminds me of FTL Faster Than Light. Oh frack, I thought. Captain, evasive maneuvers. Captain, prime escape pods. Captain, pick your battles. Captain, pick harder. I still don't know how we got out of that alive. Well, I say we. I guess it's time to sort out a new ship and recruit the next generation. The idea of the self-inflicted bullet hell isn't new in games, with titles like Laser Disco Defenders having done so, but Terror Squid adds a sense of style to it with the vectorized look and traversal on a spear. It is an arcade title, with the objective of trying to survive as long as possible, giving me some serious super hexagon vibes. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Mr. Riggs. Let's get this planet started. The Rift Breaker got an extended gameplay trailer, which showcases many aspects of this action-based builder survival title, which I'm very excited about. Hey Ashley, this looks a bit raw. Yeah, let's decorate. One part they are billions, one part Victorio, and one part Diablo. I'm impressed with the visuals and the systems in this. That looks much better, but the night is coming. That's right, let's light it up. The base building aspect looks complex enough, but not on the scale of a factorio, but there's plenty to do with mining resources and upgrading the base. Oh, 
We have guests. They don't like us here. Let's gear up. On the action front, enemies come in absolute swarms, but you can build walls and turrets to help as well. Now it looks secure. Maybe we should explore. Yeah, we've got the planet scanner. Let's travel. This is a cozy place. Sure, 250 degrees Celsius. Not a problem. Let's bake. Again, I'm curious about the gameplay structure, whether it's in distinct scenarios and what the overall objective or story is, but a fantastic looking game that should be excellent. Now those are some good looking magma power plants. There are plenty of radioactive isotopes present here. Perfect. Nuclear power plants are definitely the way to go. Ashley, do you know that we can build auto repair towers? Come on, that's like day three of Rift Breaker training. Oh, you don't have to be mean. I'm just trying to help. Sure thing, Mr. Riggs. I just wish you wouldn't be so obvious. I don't think that's obvious. To D and Top D is a neat looking puzzle platformer where you're able to control the game from both a side scrolling or top down perspective in order to get from one level to the next. This has an aspect that I love in puzzle games where the idea looks simple at the start, but I'm interested to see how complex they get in later levels. The very limbo looking white shadows is an adventure platformer where you play as Raven Go trying to escape the white city which is controlled by wolves and populated by rats and sheep. The imagery here is perhaps not so subtle, but it aims to explore some themes of racism, oppression and perhaps revolution in a messed up fable, with a very effective monochrome art style taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.